MC Apple Juice gets grimy maths. I'm not scared of triangles. Triangles, they can't try having us thanks to a Greek man called Pythagoras. Triangles, we should fear them. Just use Pythagoras' theorem to find one side of a right angle triangle. First, decide to find a right angle. Opposite that is the side you've got to use. We call that side the hypotenuse. Yeah, that goes out to the lot of you. Opposite side is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides, that's A and B. And the hypotenuse, we can call it C. And the way that it be is plain to see. Squares of A and B equal square of C. And if you need reminding yourself, squaring a number means times by itself. To find one side of a right angle. Triangle, first decide to find the right angle. There's a square of the opposite side to this angle. Equals the square of the two sides besides the right angle. Remember, Remember. A squared added to B squared is the same as finding C squared. To find the length you need to show, first square the length to the side you know. If that's A and B, add them together, then find square root on your calculator. And if you already know the hypotenuse, take away the other side, then square root. To find one side of a right angle, triangle. First decide to find the right angle. There's a square of the opposite side to this angle. Equals the squares of the two sides besides the right angle. That helps ya. If I'm putting up a shelf to get the lengths or to see how much I need for the fence, whether my ladder will reach the ball with the length of the ladder that far from the wall. If I'm marking lines not right in a tangle, I can check them at a right right angle. I handle triangles whenever I'm near them. I just apply Pythagoras' theorem. To find one side of a right angle, triangle. First decide to find the right angle. There's a square of the opposite side to this angle. Equals the squares of the two sides besides the right angle. Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem, right angle, triangles, MC apple juice, grimy maths. Know your angles.